Hey, boxing fans, Miguel Maravilla here. Welcome back. What a week it was last week. Junior Walterway, Jose Cepeda with the unanimous decision over Kendall Castaneda. Good win for him, you know, making his bid at a world title shot. Hopefully down the line for him once again. Uh, you know, just, you know, just shows all the qualities to become a world champion. However, just been against some of the, the, the best champs. We shall see what his future is like. Also on the undercard, we had Luis Alberto Lopez for the upset against San Jose's Andy Vences. Just overall wasn't the best performance from Vences. He was just very sluggish at times. Lopez, I believe, hurt him in the middle rounds. Caught him with the right hand, I believe. And he just never seemed to recover. I, I felt Lopez just gave him difficulty. Uh, towards the end, I thought... He came on, but, you know, the judges saw it in Lopez's favor. Good win for him. As for Vences, he has to go back to the drawing board. Then we had Alberto Cortez. Good win for him. Uh, struggled, though, but he, he was able to, to pull it off. Very difficult fight. Not not his not the best. Was, was down. Came back, but... Managed to, to come off, you know, the canvas and then pull the decision win. Then uh, preschool teacher Gabriel Murataya of Fontana with the decision win. He, uh, you know, he's not, they're not always going to be knockouts. So this was a, a learning experience for him going four rounds. A very tough opponent for him. And then Thursday we had, we had the heavyweights. We had Carlos Takam just... Overall, busier than Forrest. Forrest really didn't didn't really do enough. Perhaps it was that sandwich that Tim Bradley talked about before the before the fight. As well as in in the co-feature, yeah, Carlos Castro just score an impressive stoppage. Went out there, did what he had to do, as he's probably a fight or two away from a world title contention at 122. Keep an eye out on the Phoenix fighter. Very solid. The title belt between WBO Junior Lightweight Champion Jamil Herring and Jonathan Okendo is off after the champ Herring tested positive for COVID-19 on Monday morning. Herring was slated to take on Okendo earlier last month on June 22nd. Tested positive, was quarantined, did the protocol, returned, was slated to take on Okendo his second defense and unfortunately this bout is off now super middleweight Javier Martinez will make his professional debut as he takes on Jonathan Burge Martinez from Milwaukee Wisconsin recently signed with top rank tonight he will look to shine as he makes his professional and television debut Colombian lightweight Ruben Cervera will take on Clay third degree Burns. Cervera 11 and 2 with 10 knockouts is a big puncher. Expect Cervera to come out with the victory here. This one's scheduled for six. You can see a knockout in this one. Which should be a pretty explosive, exciting middleweight bout. Clay Collard. Takes on Al T. Nelson. Collard, who just recently scored a big victory over David Kaminsky and has done his part in spoiling the prospects' victories, will now meet with Al T. Nelson. Nelson, a former kickboxer, I believe, will dish it out against Collard. This should be fun. I expect Collard to come out with a victory here. The women's bout between Michaela Mayer and Hallett Joseph has now been elevated to the main event. Michaela Mayer, the 2016 U.S. Olympian, takes on Hallett Joseph. Mayer with a record of 12-0. Five knockouts, Joseph 17 and 4, two draws. Expect 
for Michaela to go out there and just showcase herself, be the overall, just overall better fighter in this one. She, she should definitely score a big win in this one. 